All right, so we've got our view set up um, and we were going to do a daylighting sequence. And I wanted to talk about a few things you should set up before we do the daylighting sequence. Um, the first thing is the sun. So in Rhino, under rendering, um, you will have sun settings and you want to turn on your sun for sure. Um, if you click on sun settings, it's going to come in. And if you scroll down, it will give you an option to set your location, right? So um, if I highlight, you can search and highlight um, where you want. It's going to give you the time zone. And then the other um, the other thing you want to set up is your day and time. And I've just got it set up for today. Um, and I'm just going to leave it set at about noon. Um, I'm not really, we'll, we'll fix where the sun starts and ends in Enscape. So I just want to be able to get, you know, a decent baseline here. So you want to go ahead and set that up. Um, another thing that's um, sort of important to know about is there's this view synchronization from Rhino to Enscape. So right now it's set to turn on so you can see synchronized views is true. Um, so it's locking these two. So it's looking at the camera in Rhino and matching it there. But you can turn this off after uh, uh, afterwards and I often do that. So if I click on that and I turn it off then the camera in Enscape takes over and it separates itself from this one. So there's good reasons to have both on or off. Um, I typically tend to disassociate them after I get my initial view set up um, so I can tweak it in Enscape, but it's kind of up to you. Um, the other thing I would note is that um, there's a little thing here, View Manager, where you can click on this guy and it gives you all your saved views from Rhino so you can click back into them if you move away from it. So for example, if I screw up my view, I could come back to this guy and say, no, I want to be in my sun study view and it will click, go right back into my sun study view for me. So that's another thing. Um, basically what you want to do is just get your view set up in Enscape. So if I come in to Enscape here, I'm just going to left click in the screen and sort of back off, you know, um, there's the roof. So just kind of get, you know, maybe that handrail out of the way. And then also you can come in and play around with the field of view, um, whether you want to do that or not. So for example, if I come in, you have a field of view here and you can change the lens basically, you know, where it's just getting very warped into where you feel like you're comfortable with where you want that. Um, and then just, you know, I will in Enscape kind of tweak tweak the view a little bit. So if I come over here and, you know, I want to center it or something like that, I'll do that and get that guy set up. One last thing you want to do is um, check your video capture settings um, in Enscape. So to do that, you just come to the Enscape tab and, and go to the Enscape visual settings window and go to capture. And this is the resolution that it's going to capture right so it's doing full HD right now um, if you do HD right um, it'll get smaller but full HD um, is fine um, for for um, showing on a on a screen um, you can go higher but um, I would recommend just going with full HD it's going to render at this aspect ratio not at this and you'll see that when we get to the key framing um, in the next video so um, just come in here um, set it to full HD, uh, go ahead and check show safe frame. And um, down here is your video compression. So it's doing maximum right now. Um, email, web, Blu-ray, um, they do different um, settings, but they're all going <clears> to <throat> render out as an MP4, right? Um, lossless actually renders out as a series of individual ping files. So it'll give you um, as many files as you have in the frames per second. So let's say you had three seconds, it'll give you 90 um, ping files and that takes quite a bit longer. So we're going to use a compression quality of maximum and um, leave it set to there. All right. And then the next thing we want to do is go in and um, start our video sequence which um, I'm going to do that in the next video. I'm trying to break these up into shorter. So I'll go ahead and stop this guy and we'll do the daylighting sequence next.